Welcome back, everyone. A not often talked about feature that I've seen in uh, Bamboo Studio and, of course, other slicers is fuzzy skin. Uh, so usually when you print out an item, um, a lot of times your whole print will come out smooth. So, of course, if you slice, you'll tend to have a whole uniform um, model after the print. But let's say you want to add a different surface texture, and that's where fuzzy skin comes in. So I'll show you how to turn it on. All right, so we'll go to prepare. We're actually going to make a few of these. So we'll clone this twice. All right. Slide these over. All right, so fuzzy skin. We're going to go to others. And down at the bottom, you'll have fuzzy skin. So you have a few different um, options. So contour uh, typically goes for the outer walls. Uh, contours and holes usually will do the inner walls and then all walls tends to do everything <laughs> in case the contours and holes don't. Um, I'm actually going to switch over to objects process and we can actually make these adjustments on each of these models. So we'll click on this one, shows up over here. We will then go to others. We'll slide down. Fuzzy skin. And I want this one to be contours, so that's outer wall. This one, same thing, we'll go to others, fuzzy skin, I'll do contours and holes. And I'll try to organize these on the plate so you can see what they look like. All right, so let's zoom in and we'll see the differences. So right now, this is the one uh, that has no changes to it. These two have the fuzzy skin. I'm going to go down a little bit so you can see the differences on the inside. So th this one, run, again, right here, no changes. This one only has the contours, and this particular one will have the contours and holes. Uh, also, the all walls will do that. I'm actually going to print this, and I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. So when you're done slicing, you'll notice that the seam will be less noticeable with the fuzzy skin. Okay, so there's another option that we can do with the fuzzy skin and we can set essentially the aggressiveness of that, um, that surface finish. So I uh, just have this cube here. We went to objects process, selected this one individually. I'm going to clone this a few times. So we will make uh, two other clones. So I have three total. Let's arrange these. All right, so this one will keep the same as the other ones. This one, we will go into your Others tab, Fuzzy Skin, uh, Contours, because you only want outer walls. Uh, I'm not going to touch the top surface. We will change this to a 1 for Fuzzy Point Distance. And for this one, same thing, Contour. Contour, contour, there you go. Uh, we're going to change the thickness to a one. And that one we're going to keep normal. So let's slice this and see how it looks. All right. And these two don't look that much different. This one looks wildly different. We'll print this and see how it looks. Thanks for watching, and of course if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments.